This is another challenging equation. We have copper 2 sulfate plus potassium iodide, and then we have these three different products. So let's count the atoms up and see what we can do. We have one copper, and then because I have SO4 here and I have SO4 on the product side, I can just call this SO4 one thing. And chemically, it's staying together in this kind of quasi double displacement reaction. So we have one sulfate, we have one potassium, one iodine. Over here, coppers, we have the one, we have one sulfate here, two potassium atoms, and then iodine, two plus the one, that gives us three iodine atoms. I'll start by trying to get an even number of iodine atoms here on the product side. The easiest way to do that is to put a two in front of the CUI. So let me update the iodine. I now have one times two, that's two, plus I have these two here. So I have four iodine atoms, that's an even number. And then copper, I have the one times the two. So I have two copper atoms. That's a little bit better. Why don't we balance the K next by putting a two in front of the Ki? So that means iodine one times two, that equals two there. And really that's not gonna work. So we're not gonna use a two, let's use a four instead. Let's put a four here. So now we have iodine one times four, that equals four. The iodines are balanced. The potassium's one times four, that'll give us four of those. But we can fix that because we can double this. So why don't we do that next? Why don't we put a two in front of this potassium sulfate? So now for the sulfates, I have this SO4, one of these times two. That'll give me two of those, but the potassium's two times two. That'll give me four potassium atoms, and those are balanced. So we're getting very close. And in fact, if we put a coefficient of two here, the sulfates, one times two, that equals two, those are balanced. The coppers, one times two, that gives us two, and we've balanced this equation. The trick here was to get an even number of iodine atoms by multiplying this iodine by two, so when we add this two here to that gives us four, and then things kind of fall into place. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuSO4 plus Ki yields CuI plus I2 plus K2SO4. And thanks for watching.